Getting children out into nature is vital for their health and well-being. And Shona Royal, a designer at Hampton this year, has created a garden to help spread this message. Now, a few weeks ago, we went to meet Shona to find out more about her mission to get school children outdoors and into gardening. There are so many studies now that are showing how beneficial being outside is for children. So it improves cognitive functioning, it improves confidence levels, and it improves their abilities to creatively move on and problem solve. I'm Shona Royal and I live in Brixton in South London. I say that the garden that I've designed is part oasis, part playground and part classroom. And what I mean by that is that each area has the ability to be any of those things for the children that they want to explore. So what we've got is lots of different textures through the garden, lots of different things that they can see and feel and hear, as well as lots of different things that they can taste. The show garden at Hampton is actually only a small part of what is a bigger project we've set up called Believe in Tomorrow, where we have joined up with five local schools and I am working with them to get them more connected with nature. When I started doing these workshops, I found lots of children that were scared to touch soil or that had never planted a seed and that made me so worried about it that I started doing more and more work with the schools, changing the way they ran their spaces, but equally working with the teachers and the communities to work out how I could make a difference. They see Shona and they kind of know what's, what's coming and what to expect and they know that they're not going to be sat in the classroom, they know they're going to go to kind of one of the many nature areas that we have in this school. They just can't wait to kind of get their hands dirty and see what's going to happen next. So this is something that I do all of the time with children. It's something my dad used to do with us. He would write a quick list, go and find us a flower, a yellow thing, a blue thing, a round thing, a smooth thing, and that we would just peg it out the door and we'd be gone for a good hour and a half. It's something that you can really quickly engage children with, and it's something that I'm really bringing to this garden at Hampton. I'll show you, there's actually a little So one of the workshops that we run with the schools is a planting workshop where we talk to them about plants and nature and the well-being side of being in nature as well as getting them to plant a seed. When they see that it's growing, the care that they give it, it changes the way that they think about dealing with that sort of nature. So you need how much soil do you need? Just that much soil? When we started it there were children who were sort of apprehensive about getting their hands dirty and quite fearful of an environment that's quite unfamiliar to them and it's been brilliant to see over the, how over the last few years it's just become part of their everyday life. I think it's brilliant that shona has got the garden at Hampton Court so that she can show a wider audience um, the, the work that we're doing and for that message to spread. So is everybody up for doing some planting now to help at the show garden? Yeah! I have never designed and built a garden at any show, never mind um, on such a large scale as the RHS Hampton Court. I'm hoping that with the backing of all of the community that I have, with all of the different people who are pulling together to make this happen, including my parents who have always been the inspiration from the start, I think we can definitely supply something to the show that really shows how passionate we all are for this message of reconnecting children with nature. Shona, you've come away from the school. You're now at Hampton. What's it like to have your first show garden? I feel just so proud of what we have managed to make. It has been a small team, it's been a long slog, but I am I'm just absolutely thrilled to be here and thrilled with the garden. And I hear that you've crowdfunded this. What was that experience like? That was really hard work. <laughs> <laughs> but it equally made the project almost a success before we started building this, because to find that so many people do care mm -hmm. and care enough to help so many schools was just so positive. Well, I'm sure that they're going to be very proud of what's here because you've managed you get in so many elements, pond and the edible area and woodlands and 
buy a pitch. You know, there's so much in this garden. Thank you. Yeah, there is. And all of these areas are all going into the five schools who've helped create it. Mm -hmm. And so three of them are having ponds, even though we only have one. <laughs> um, but all of the mag posts are going off into the schools. And then we're talking to each school about what it is they need. Do they need trees? Do they need edible areas? You know, do they need a lawn? And then mm -hmm. we're using the materials of this garden to help them have a greener space in their urban areas. Well, you will certainly be bringing smiles to many schools. So well done. Thank you so much. Thank you.